Howdy folks, Rob Maximum RD here, and now the first thing I want to do is apologize. Yes, I do have to actually hold the camera with my hand. I just could not find a way to prop the camera in this exact position that you see before you. So I apologize for that. I'm doing my best. Uh, you know, it's it's never of, of the best uh, quality um, to actually shoot off the screen when you're trying to show something but uh, I have no alternative in this case so that's what I'm doing you're just going to have to uh, bear with it and uh, take it for what it is for better or worse uh, secondly I just wanted to say hello to spectrum fever that's user spectrum fever here on YouTube I was watching his video the other night booting and shutting down Windows 7. Uh, he was just simply demonstrating the speed of uh, shutting down and booting up into Windows 7 uh, with the uh, help of an SSD, that solid state drive uh, that he has in his machine. And it is indeed very fast and I just thought I would do the well same thing actually um, I accept no credit <laughs> this was totally uh, his idea and uh, that's why I'm sending it as a response uh, but I just wanted to do my take on it and add a few words uh, that are my opinion and point of view at the same time so all right so let's just go to the uh, um, rebooting of the machine and just to show you how fast that it uh, basically uh, shuts down and then reboots back into Windows. Alrighty so here we go. Okay I'm just going to restart now. Okay shutting down and now it's rebooting back into the BIOS post screen. You get your logo there at the beginning. And once it accesses the actual SSD, detecting drives, checking RAM, now accessing the SSD starting Windows. And there we go, there's the logo. And now we head to the desktop. Welcome. There we are. There, there's the desktop. It's a couple little apps that I really enjoy that I got them loading up right at the beginning. And there we are, back in the Windows. So yes, indeed, it is very, very quick as you just saw. Um, I know some people are still on the fence about SSDs. And I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that, you know, they're equal in price now or anything like that. Fact of the matter is, of course, solid state drives still uh, uh, command a little bit of a premium. But, in my humble opinion, I honestly believe that at this point in time, we've gotten to the point now where it is well, well worth it. Uh, many of the problems and... Uh, uh, issues that people had with SSDs. Well, of course, when they first came out, they were insanely expensive. There's no denying that. Um, also, there were issues. Um, there was quite a quite a bit of issues, actually. Everything from firmware upgrades on the drive could cause issues, and uh, just the fact that they're known for only having. Uh, a finite uh, lifespan because uh, every time you write to the drive you're you know basically uh, shortening its lifespan and things like that but I'm here to tell you now that if you haven't been keeping up with uh, SSD technology that situation has greatly greatly improved so it's well worth it now at this point in time to get an SSD at the very least, get one for your operating system, your boot drive, as you, uh, as they say. Um, no, you don't get 
an SSD for storage at this point. Now, uh, you're thinking, well, well, what do you mean? You don't get a drive for storage. What I'm saying is, you don't get an SSD to store all your movies and games and videos and music <laughs> uh, at this point in time. It's, it's, it's pointless. Yes, it's incredibly fast, and if you're independently wealthy, sure, go for it. <laughs> uh, but if you're not, at the very least, get it, get one for your boot drive. Now, as an example here, my desktop, and I know you can't really see any of this, so I'm describing it to you. Well, you can see how fast I can access all the drawers. Uh, uh, for example, I have a 60 gig hard drive right now installed on my desktop, which comes out to 55.8 gig. You know, that's the usual uh, mumbo jumbo with how Windows reads uh, file size and such. Now, I have a fully updated version of Windows 7 64-bit set up on this system. Um, just 4 gig of RAM. It's not the greatest computer. Uh, got a Core 2 Dual E6750 processor CPU there. 4 gigs of RAM, 64-bit operating system. And I will tell you, I had taken this from 2 gig to 4 gig. I didn't really notice that much of an improvement. I'll be totally honest with you. I did a lot of tests, ran a lot of games and uh, applications. When I brought it up to 4 gig from 2 gig, I didn't notice that much of an improvement. When I dropped the SSD in there, I enjoyed uh, and noticed an incredible performance. Again, from the boot speed to shutting down to going into sleep mode, uh, and just basic use of the operating system even seemed a little faster. And a lot of uh, people think, well, wait a minute, if, if you're not, you know, loading your games and all your applications on it, then what's the point? Uh, well, the point is, what you do, uh, again, as in my case, with my mere 60 gigabyte SSD and my full install of Windows 64-bit, totally up to date, Got Windows on, uh, sorry, got Office on there, of course. Uh, got all my little favorite apps and tweaks and utilities, etc. And after all is said and done, I've still got 23.4 gigabyte free on my, uh, of 55.8 gig on my, you know, 60 gig drive. So I've got over 20 gig free on this boot drive. That's a lot. So, as you can see, I'm nowhere near approaching full capacity on this drive. Uh, with a full operating system, fully up to date with all my favorite utilities and apps. Uh, now what you do is you use a secondary drive installed in your machine. That's my partition D and my partition E. And basically that's where I uh, install all my games, all my um, video uh, editing tools and applications and things like that and of course all the video files I create uh, and music files and movies they're all kept on the secondary drive which is your original old-fashioned spindle drive hard disk drive you can pick them up really cheap now to get you know relatively fast ones uh, and basically that's what you use for all your uh, information and files and things that you create for storage. But as for the uh, solid state drive, this 60 gig, which I just have my operating system on, that's what I image to create a backup of so I can restore it very quickly. Again, that's another bonus of having an SSD. And, uh, you know, you're basically all set. I don't know what else to tell you. I totally consider it worth it at this point. Yeah, I from everyone I've heard and everyone who's actually installed uh, at least a minimal sized SSD for their operating system. Nobody, I haven't heard of anyone complaining or wishing they hadn't. It is well worth the upgrade. It's the biggest improvement you'll give to an older system. Absolutely, for sure. Um, I guarantee that. And uh, I do, you know, I get off track sometimes. <laughs> I realize that with my rambling, but uh, going back to what I said about how it speeds up everything, 
Now, that's what people say. Well, if you're not putting your games on the SSD, then how can there be any improvement? How is it any faster? Well, you have to remember that all your games, all your applications, your photo editing uh, utilities, your video editing utilities, uh, and what have you, they all have function calls that go through the operating system. And your operating system is on the SSD now, which is much, much faster than an old hard drive. So basically all operations from game playing to video editing are greatly improved with an SSD as your operating system drive, even if you're not using it to actually store your games and such. So yeah, absolutely highly recommended. At this point in time, the improvements that have been made to the uh, drive technology, they last a lot longer now. There's some great quality name brands out there. OCZ, I think it's OCZ, or yeah, pretty sure it's OCZ. Even, I, I hate to say it, but uh, <laughs> um, uh, drives by uh, Microsoft or IBM. I think it's IBM. Uh, mine is actually a uh, Kingston drive or at least I have a Kingston in my laptop. I'm not quite sure which one I have in here. But it was a lower end one. I got it cheap, small drive, and still absolutely incredible difference in operation. So that's uh, my response. Highly recommend SSDs. Don't even think about it anymore. Uh, you can actually save space on your OSD, your boot drive, your operating system drive. There's all kinds of little tricks to save space from putting your uh, scratch disk or virtual disk on another secondary drive, like your old spindle drive. Um, and you can actually just shut off system restore. I do that because I image my operating system and it's so fast to do that and it's much faster and, and better and more efficient than Windows Restore anyways. So. Uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. That'll wrap it up. Thanks for watching. My recommendation, an SSD drive for everybody. Got it in my laptop, my desktop. I will never go back to an old spindle drive for my operating system. Rob Maximum RD out. Thanks for watching.